Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans are with me, Mike Spider Slayer, bringing you that all-important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And today, fans, we're talking about a book that is perfect for the month of October, and that is Edge of Spider-Verse, I Walked with a Spider, issue number four. Uh, that's right, fans. Cool cover here. You have that classic horrorific type of feel. Uh, great has the uh, great cover. It's got those characters on the side here where it introduces you Uncle Ted and the girl next door, which is Sarah Jane in this uh, issue instead of Mary Jane, and obviously uh, spiders. Uh, this book was very well done. This is just an evil twist to really the Peter Parker that we all know and love. And uh, it's such a wonderful tale here. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the book is written by Clay, Clay McLeod and Chapman, and the artwork is done by Ilya Bonita. Uh, the artwork is very well done. Fits the tone of this book because it is a much darker type of style book. And uh, as you progress through the book and you see the transformation of Patton, uh, go from boy to spider, uh, you can see the book gets darker and darker, and it really fits that horrific feel uh, that this issue is uh, trying to achieve here. So you can really appreciate the artwork here. Uh, so what was this story really about? Uh, let me just tell you. And folks, if you have not read any of the Edge of Spider-Verse books, this is the one to get because I really enjoyed this one. Uh, First off, we get to meet uh, Patton Parnell. Uh, he's like our alternate Peter Parker, if you say so. Uh, same thing. He's very smart. Uh, he's always doing science experiments, testing on animals, you know, trying to find out things. Uh, he has an infatuation with uh, this universe's Mary Jane, which is her name is Sarah Jane. And he actually goes far. It's kind of strange. He calls her a test subject. You know, everything is a test subject. So he's a very strange boy. And he doesn't get along with everybody else, just like the true Peter Parker does in here. Uh, but one day, Mary Jane, or Sarah Jane, comes up to him and says, Are you going on this field trip? Can you help me on this? And he's like, Okay, yeah, sure. So uh, basically, they cage all these animals or whatnot. And she wants Patton to save all these, actual, all these animals. So as they're trying to save these animals... Uh, Patton winds up reaching into a jar, and he winds up getting bit by this radioactive spider. And uh, he gets sent home, and uh, we can see that this this bite actually takes effect on his body slowly as the issue progresses. Um, and we can see the true character here of his uncle. His uncle... Uh, actually, I guess, adopted him, or it's his foster uncle or whatnot. He beats him, uh, whips him with the belt in here, so he's an abused he's an abused child here. He doesn't have much of anything. Uh, but as the issue progresses, you get to see the slow changes of, of Patton in here, and he finds out that he doesn't want to eat anything except live animals, and he can't help himself. And as the issue really progresses here, you see the transformation start. Uh, this is him eating a rat, and then he's, you know, puts the rat in his mouth, and, uh, you know, he has sharp teeth, and then he starts wanting to eat cats, and he feels that every time he eats something, he gets stronger and stronger, and as the issue progresses, we see that uh, he gets more evil, and uh, he winds up capturing his uncle here, and to use him for food or whatnot. I mean, this book was insane. This is something I totally did not expect from a Spider-Man type of book, and that's what was so great. And we can see him, he grows more confident in himself and stronger, and instead of becoming a hero that maybe you think he might, he becomes this evil, sick, and twisted creature. He's always capturing ducks, and uh, you can see him that he's trying to, uh, you know, always get the next prey. He does more research on the type of spider that bites him, and uh, you find out a lot of stuff here. Uh, you wind up seeing that you think there might be a relationship between Sarah and Patton. That doesn't happen. He winds up biting her and winds up infecting her. And uh, 
she winds up scratching him and his face is all torn up and then he the mutation completely happens in the issue and uh he becomes this sick and twisted spider creature and uh, you can see all the prey that is hanging in his room. And by the time you get to the end of this issue, again, that transformation is complete. And then he comes face to face with Moreland. And what happens at the end, I'll let you guys read that. Uh, guys, this was a fantastic issue. This was just that sick and twisted feel uh, of a horrific comic that was so well done uh, that I truly didn't expect it to be this good. And as for all of the Spider-Verse issues uh, this series has had so far, this has been the greatest one so far. And I give this one a 5 out of 5. Great one shot here. Very well told. Uh, I was on the edge of my seat the whole entire time. And it was creepy. I mean, creepy. There's one page here where you get to see Sarah Jane when Patton bit her. Uh, you get to see the bite marks there. And then you get to see the spider start coming out of her bite marks and then start piling out all of her mouth. I mean, that is creepy stuff, man. I was just like, Ugh, can you imagine that as a horror movie? Insane. I definitely recommend this book. It's worth the $3.99 price. Really enjoyed the story here. Five out of five. Guys, tell me your thoughts in the comments below of Spider-Verse issue number four. And does this kick off the Halloween month or what? This was awesome. So guys, again, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. And until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. See you soon, guys. Bye.